What do you do when you haven't got a juicer but you want some juice? Guess what? You blend it. We're going to make some orange and pineapple juice, but because I haven't got my juicer, I have a blender. So this is what you do. Jamaica love. We want to feel Jamaica love. Everybody want to visit Jamaica. Right now we're just peeling everything. So I'm going to have, I'm going to use two oranges and a pineapple. I think a little bit of ginger as well. And I'm going to use this blender that I bought in Jamaica because, um, yeah, just chop it in half, chop it in half and then quarter, and just take off the skin. No, take off the skin, because we're blending it, we're not juicing it. If it was juicing, we could have left the skin. So, yeah. Chop it in quarter now. No, chop it in quarter. Every man do their thing and little way different. Yeah, just peel the skin like that. Did you peel the two orange already? Okay. So. I just fancy some orange and pineapple juice, but because it's just a blender, this is what I have to do. So I'm going to have to blend it all with a little bit of water, not too much water, and then sieve it. So that's what I'm going to do. But Clive doesn't normally do these things, so I'm going to let him do it this time. In it. <laughs> it's usually me doing this. So you want a little bit of ginger in as well? Do you want some ginger? Or you want it without the ginger? I did it with ginger last time, and it was really nice. I should have shown you how we made a sour sap juice as well because I don't know if you've ever seen a sour sap but it's a big old green pickly plant and they juice it and it's really nice. We've got some in the fridge but I just forgot to record it when he was making it because it's typically a Jamaican drink really. We even made some. What did we make sorrel? It's a Christmas thing in Jamaica. Sorrel is a, it's like a purple plant but again I forgot to record it. Maybe we might make some more before Christmas, I don't know. Are we going to make any more sorrel before Christmas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll show you the next time, because sorrel is, is like native to Jamaica. But right now, we're trying to peel this thing so we can make some juice. So I really need some juice right now. So there you go, we've got a small pineapple and two oranges there. All we need now is the, um, we need some ginger class. Just a little bit. There's a stick of ginger. So this is what I like to have before I eat anything. That's some juice. So just because you're in a different country doesn't mean that you can't still keep healthy and do the things that you do at home. So normally at home I would be juicing. I get my juicer out, but because I haven't got a juicer, I have to use a blender. But that's no excuse. You can still get some good juice out of a blender. But the only thing is you have to sieve it if you want it without the bits. I mean, it's still all right blended, but I don't like it with the bits in it because I'm used to juicing. So I like to sieve it out. So there you go. So we're just chopping it all up now. And then we can go from there. You can probably guess by now I'm a foodie, but I'm actually more into vegan food than I am anything else. So I think vegan food is a happier, healthier life. And I find when I, when I actually eat meat that I get clogged up and it's awful. So I like to stick to vegan food. No cow's milk, no eggs, no derivative of any animal kind. That's what I'm into really. But sometimes life has a habit of doing things to you in it, especially when you're in a foreign country that sometimes you just ain't got to try sometimes. But there you go. So anyway, all we need now is a ginger clove. I'm calling this juicing with clove. <laughs> well, now, now just get the ginger please. Let me just get the ginger. Look on, peeps. This is the blender that I bought. It cost 2,550 Jamaican 
which works out to be something like fifteen pounds, which is really cheap considering it's Jamaica, because these things are usually really expensive. These things are usually really expensive. Yeah, I'm gonna put water in there. Just give me a little. No, wait a minute. Behave yourself. <laughs> You just want this juice now, it? So I'm just gonna. Well, if you hold the camera, it'll be all right, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is add the ingredients. I add all the ingredients here. He's not helping me today, so I have to do it myself. <laughs> add all the ingredients. Sure so that's two sure orange. Look. Sure yeah, but you already started, so there's no point, is there? I know you're cooking soup, but it's too late now. It's too late. You, you should have called me before. This is all going on camera, you know. You just did it. I thought you were doing fish soup. Anyway, open this for me, please. I'm just going to add a little bit of water so that it can blend. And then I'm going to start the blending process. And we mustn't forget the ginger because that gives it a nice little kick. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of water, just enough to get it to, that will do. This is a lot, you know, this is going to make a lot of juice by the time I finish. Okay, so where's the lid? When I come back, I'm going to show you how I blend it and what I do with it next. So, once I've got peeps, I've just started juicing, I'm making sure it's all blended up together. It's a bit slow to start, but it's moving up. You hear it now? So this is the blender that I bought. It's called a JSW. A bit dirty right now because of the juice. But yeah. So, I'm just making sure it's blended up properly. So it's got this orange, pineapple, and a bit of ginger in there. And I've blended it all together. So, I'll show you the next process when I'm done. Now that I've blended everything together, we need to separate it because I want juice, I don't want blended. And it's not nice with pineapple. So, this is what I do. And it creates the juice. I like it nice and smooth, so I'm just going to sieve it out the best I can. There's loads there. I need a spoon. Get a spoon. And this is what I do sieve it up but it blended it quite you could actually drink it like that if you really wanted to if you like the bits but I don't particularly like the bits so what I do is just blend it out and this is what you do when you want juice but you haven't got a juice out you use a blender so I'll show you what it looks like once it's finished because it's still a different color from when you juice it but mind you, because it's got pineapple in it and ginger as well. So you can see the bits of ginger there, look, where it's blended out the ginger. But there you go. So when I come back, I'll show you the end result. Coincidentally, this is what the pulp looks like when I finish with it. It's really dry now. Can you see me shaking it? It's really dried. I've dried it out to nothing. So this is what's left of the actual pineapple. But this is only half because there's another half to go because I made quite a lot today. But this is what the pulp looks like. Dry. <laughs> More when I come back. Meanwhile, while I'm making my juice, he's making some soup. That looks nice, isn't it? What's it got in there, Chloe? Dumpling. Dumpling and yum. yam. Sweet, what, potato, carrots, green beans, and some gunga beans. So while I'm doing my juicing, he's making soup. Because we thought we'd cook it early so we didn't have to bother with it later because it takes a while. So there you go, while I'm doing my juice, and it's early morning here, but there you go. So that's, it's not finished yet, it's just cooking down now. So when it's finished, I'll show you what that looks like. But this is really about my juice. Going, so this is the end result, this is pineapple, orange and ginger, and it tastes fantastic. Nothing added, nothing taken away. Instead of juicing, I blended and sieved. And it has the same result, I guess, but you still get a bit more of the fibre in it rather than just juicing direct and taking away all the fibre. But yeah, so you still get a little bit of fibre in here, but I sieved it. So, bon appetit. In case you were wondering, this is the end result of the soup that Clive was cooking while I was making the juice. Doesn't that look nice? Yam, potato, dumpling, peas. Jamaica love Everybody
Everybody wanna visit Jamaica Jamaica love Jamaica Jamaica